What is up guys, that's it here. Today's video is dedicated to a progression spec for Hardcore Crusaders fit for torments between 1 and 4. Very easy to itemize for and very easy to grasp as a playstyle. Let's get into it. First, I would like to talk about the build. It's a natural progression from the leveling spec that I talked about last week, utilizing the full potential of Blessed Hammers with Burning Wrath as a very cheap and reliable spender that synergizes with the damage over time effect of Agrat's Champion with Firestarter. I've mentioned this before, but Blessed Hammers is a very underrated skill that gets outshined by other spenders that actually have good legendary weapons dedicated to them. Don't be fooled though by the lack of good Blessed Hammer flails. You can easily repurpose an elemental damage to hander, for example a Maximus or a Schaefer's Hammer, to be the build's weapon of choice, of course adjusting to the fire or lightning rune of Blessed Hammers. Ideally I would go with a Maximus, but as to why I'll talk in the gearing section of the video. The defensiveness of my gear is supplemented by two very safe choices. Laws of Justice with Immovable Object and Iron Skin with Steel Skin. Laws of Justice adds a nice passive boost to your all resistance score and with decent cooldown reduction the active part of the skill, which adds about 500 all resistance and 7000 armor on top of everything else, will be up for every single elite fight. I use it liberally whenever I feel the fight is worth a defensive boost which would certainly be every elite fight and every rift guardian, but also when facing a horde of white trash enemies where damage comes in small sizes but from a lot of directions and very quickly. Iron skin I usually reserve for elite fights, more particularly for the moments when my Akarat's champion is not active and is still on cooldown. Since we're talking progression spec here, you'll likely have a significant downtime of Akarat and a skill that reduces incoming damage by 50% and breaks you out of crowd control effects is of tremendous help. If you're absolutely certain in your survivability because of difficulty or your gear quality, you could swap out Iron Skin for Consecration with Shattered Ground for additional synergy with Firestarter, but since Akarat is far from permanent with progression gear, I consider Iron Skin a more generally useful skill. My utility slots are taken up by Steed Charge with Nightmare and Provoke with Too Scared to Run. Steed Charge is invaluable for the build and gear that I picked for the progression spec. It's a mobility skill which helps with clear times, it's a damage skill that synergizes with the rest of our gear choices and the Firestarter application, and to top things off, it gives you ample opportunities to stretch the fire chain of the Maximus Demon and use it to its full potential. Provoke, on the other hand, will be your single source of wrath restoration from skills, along with a powerful debuff for your enemies from the Too Scared to Run rune. If you possess a Schaefer's Hammer and you're going for a Lightning Hammer's direction with the build, it will be worth swapping the rune for Charged Up, but for most purposes and hardcore in specific, the safety-oriented Too Scared to Run rune will be a better choice. Finally, about Akarat's Champion, I tend to keep the Firestarter rune from my leveling spec all the way up to the mid to high torments. Firestarter is the strongest rune from a strict damage perspective. For the highest torment levels, and especially for greater rift progression, you will need to transition into builds that use the tanky profit rune. However, at the earlier gearing stages, the damage mitigation can be easily stacked up elsewhere and you'll be using Akarat's Champion as a damage boost as you'll surely be lacking damage more than anything else at the time. To offset the unsafe from hardcore perspective Firestarter rune, you'll be using Indestructible in your passives. A Cheat Death passive is mandatory for Hardcore Crusaders as you'll be putting yourself in the dangers of close combat on a regular basis and affixes like Electrified, Arcane and Molten, along with crowd controllers like Vortex and Jailer can make short work of your character. You'll naturally be using Heavenly Strength to wield your preferred two-handed elemental damage weapon. Blunt is another obvious choice, bringing a significant damage boost to your Blessed Hammers. We'll round things out with Finery, as usual, to take advantage of the ever-increasing number of sockets across our gear. 
Now, let me walk you through my gear choices. An immensely beneficial part of this setup is the fact that a third of the gear is actually crafted. You only need to have the crafting plans for those items. As I'm sure you've already experienced, crafting plans are a very common drop during the early progression of a character and you'll likely possess the three necessary plans within a single day of farming. Those plans are Reaper's Wraps, Ogild's Authority and Captain Crimson's Trimmings. I'm using Ogild Shoulders and Helm along with Captain Crimson pants and boots, complemented with a ring of royal grandeur to take advantage not only of the double set bonus, but the triple set bonus as well. The third set I bring into the mix is Blackthorns. I wear it on the chest and belt. This one you cannot craft, but it is one of the most common sets in the game, and with the recent change that enabled the belt and amulet of Blackthorn to roll all the desirable stats, this progression set is better than ever. The end result of those three sets together is 25% damage reduction from elites, 25% damage increase against elites, 10% cooldown and resource cost reduction, 50 O resistance and 250 vitality along with other bonuses on top. Great value per piece. As I mentioned, I'm using a ring of Royal Grandeur, a ring that reduces the number of items needed for set bonuses by one. With the recent changes to cash drop rates, it is easier than ever to farm this amazingly powerful ring from the bounties in Act 1. Don't put it off and farm yourself a good one. If you look into one with natural cooldown reduction or a socket, it will last you well into the endgame. Reaper's Wraps are another mandatory crafted item for the build. As a quick reminder, the plans for those wonderful bracers drop off of Malthiel, the end boss of Act 5. Because you can craft them over and over, strive for perfection in the stats, with the correct elemental damage, strength, vitality and crit chance, along with the highest resource restoration that you can look into. Finally, I want to mention the two-handed sword Maximus, my weapon of choice for the progression build. I've been singing praises of this weapon ever since PTR for patch 2.1 came out, and with good reason. Previously, the Demon Summon was too fragile to be of use in higher torment levels and the fire chain illogically did not scale with fire damage on your gear. This is no longer the case. The Maximus Demon is now a tough combatant and the fire chain delivers devastating damage as long as you stretch it properly across the battlefield. Maximus is a great weapon for hardcore as often the enemy will be distracted by the summon or die as it tries to get closer to you, burned to ashes from the chain. From a gameplay perspective, Maximus was an interesting legendary to begin with, encouraging proper positioning to get the most out of it and has only benefited from patch 2.1. The rest of my gear comprises of decent rares and a throwaway legendary ring. As you can see, the spec is good enough to carry even those beginner pieces. I'll give you a screenshot of my stat sheet to hopefully give you some pointers on my current offense and defense. Notice the above average all resistance, courtesy of the 5 diamond gems across my armor. As far as paragon points go, I did not deviate from the standard crusader setups, maxing out movement speed, cooldown reduction and all resistance first. And this is it for my progression spec for a hardcore crusader. I've been using it to great success with my fresh 70 crusader, leveled after the disconnect death from last week. This will be my go-to spec whenever I need to farm my Akan, and hopefully I've inspired confidence in you as well. As always, if you enjoyed what you saw, I would appreciate your subscription to my channel, talk to me on Twitter and Facebook that I linked below, see me live at twitch.tv slash thedeadset, and I'll see you guys next time. Yes.